Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot and today we are doing a reading about whether or not you will be getting back with your ex. What is your heart saying? What is your person's heart saying? Ooh. So my beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time, nothing is missing. And we have romance, Cupid, arrow strikes. Wow. So we're going to find out what the combined energy is between the two of you. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Power. I feel like this is a lot of power powerful energy. I feel like this may be when you're near this person, you can sense that they're close by. There's that real vibrational energy that you have that pull between the two of you. And when you guys get together, it's almost scary because it's so powerful. We have power. You instinctively know what's right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. Yes, you do have the power, but that is not kind of what I was feeling. I was more feeling like this powerful energy. I'm going to crack the deck here. Life is a series of constant shifting. Let's see here. Shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. And I'm kind of feeling, yes, you have the power to, to walk away at any time. Sure. And this is a powerful energy I'm feeling here between the two of you. I feel like this may be why this hasn't come or this is having such a trouble is that runner chaser. I hate to say it, but this might be a twin flame. So <laughs> go with the flow. Yes, definitely go with the flow with this and see where it leads. And it definitely is romance on your person's side. That's what their heart is saying. Cupid arrow strikes. So, and I feel like there might be some I'm getting uh, telepathy here between you and your person. You may instinctively know what they're feeling or seeing in their eyes or sensing what they're feeling. So you have thoughts. You guys mirror each other. I'm getting mirroring. All right. What does your person's mind say? And what does your mind say when it comes to this union? So what you what your mind is saying, grace and gratitude. Through gratitude, joy expands. You've been very grateful on showing your gratitude to spirit for this to come in. I kind of feeling like you might have been waiting for a little while, maybe even years for some of you. Let's see. What about your person's mind? Watching the clouds, lay back, rest and relax. So I feel like they may be on a vacation or they're just kind of going with the flows, kind of like enjoying the moments. It's kind of what I'm getting with that. What's the in the flow? Like what? I'm not kidding. I can't make it up. Everything is smooth sailing, like in the flow. I'm just getting the flow, the flow. And I mean, the flow's here, the flow's here, the flow's here. Wow. Okay. So just be going with the flow. I feel like there's boundaries in place here this time around. So, okay, let's just <laughs> keep going. What was the obstacle that ultimately ended this relationship? So what was it for you? Broken. I feel shattered about the situation. So something happens to you or you feel they did something. Um, how about them what was it that ended up for them values we have too many differences so they may have felt that you weren't on the same page maybe you outgrew each other or I'm kind of getting that you may not have actually had romance with this friend maybe you've always kept them in the friend zone maybe you were willing to go there but maybe it just never worked out maybe you were always with somebody when you ran into this person or they were always with somebody else. So let's see what the 
soul tie i always feel connected to you so you may really feel a soul tie with this person and that may be why you guys can't walk away and you may have really wanted to try to see where this went so i feel like this is kind of saying you both feel there is a tie here when it comes to you, you your connection all right what needs to heal for you and your person for this romance to come back into union so what needs to heal for you relationship evolving is the next phase healing the inner child and growth so i feel like with this is kind of saying that maybe it got to a point and then it ended i feel like ghosting here i feel like maybe you ghosted or they ghosted there was something that needed to heal maybe the inner baggage or emotional baggage maybe you were getting triggered maybe they were getting triggered there needed to be goal uh, i'm getting um maturity yeah, addictions, codependency, obsession, possession, controlling. So needing restraint. Um, I feel like if it came to maybe, now this could be with anything. It could be with other people. It could be with um, smoking. It could be with whatever. Whatever the vice is that they're not being able to restrain from I want to say this needed to change um, if there were other women in the case if it's a man or another other men if it's a woman I feel like being committed to each other no one else is seen here in this relationship for this to work it has to be you two against the world. It has to be a team sport. That's <laughs> kind of what I'm getting. Team sport. Maybe you guys like sports. Maybe you don't. Maybe it was just, maybe for some. What's, wow, soulmates. Partnership agreements, soul contracts, soul ties, soul contracts, soulmates. Hello. So definitely um, connected here. Without a doubt. Um, let's see. <laughs> so let's see. What do you need to hear from your person's mouth to be reassured about this union from your ex? So what do you need to hear from your ex to be reassured about this union? Has to actually come out of their mouth. I fell in love with you the moment I saw you. So you need to hear that from them, their true feelings towards you. You don't want to be gaslit. You want to know how they truly feel about you. Don't tell me anything that you don't actually feel. Let's see here. And for them, what do they need to hear from you to be reassured? something that's come out of your mouth to be reassured about this union i'm afraid to get too serious i was hurt before and i feel like you both may have been but you can't let past baggage hold you back from experiencing something beautiful with this person now whether that's you or them you maybe you feel this way about them that they've been hurt before and they haven't actually done the work or they still need healing or somebody is still not healed when it comes to this let's see let's look at the bottom of the deck here for your combined energy i still love you and can't stop thinking about you and i feel like there's some soul tie here so i'm kind of getting that you're mirroring each other so i feel like this might be a divine union because soulmate is here but i'm also feeling a twin flamish kind of energy here so i wouldn't be surprised if twin flame comes out somewhere in this reading because i'm really getting soulmate twin flame divine union so let's have a look here <laughs> all right what are you and your 
ex's hidden thoughts or fears when it comes to you or them. So let's look at you here. What are your hidden thoughts when it comes to your ex or your fears here? You deserve better. Wow. You may, uh, you may have felt that at one point. Maybe you ghosted them. Yeah, maybe you felt there was too much drama going on. I feel like there was somebody else in their life here. What is going on here? Why is it that you love me? Now, I'm really getting this doesn't belong here. It belongs here. This is what your person is feeling. What are you feeling here when it comes to your ex? So I don't feel that's you. I wish to be like you. No, be you. Maybe you have this idea that Why are you getting that? Uh, I wish to be like you. There's maybe a quality, but you're, if it's a twin flame, you do possess it. Maybe you just don't see it within yourself. Let's see here. I don't know who I am anymore. I feel like you were lost at one point. I feel like you're finding your way back. You are getting to know who you are once again. I feel like you're getting that self-love back. You're doing the self-love and the, the work I'm getting. People don't believe in me. And this may be true. Maybe you were seen as the black sheep of the family or that the fuck up of the family or whatever you want to say. The one that wasn't going to go anywhere with your life. And I feel like that's, that's just not the case. So let's see what your combined energy is. Why can't I move on from you? <laughs> it's because you're soul tied. You have unfinished business here. So let's have a look <laughs> at what does romance, what does romance, what does this romance need for you or your person to have or do to make a difference? What, what has to be done or what does has to be had for this to make a difference? Healing family issues. Maybe your family isn't excited about you getting back with your ex or your person's family isn't excited about this union. All right. Flirt, attraction, and it is safe for you to love. So. There's definitely some things here that you have that you want to have happen here. This is what you need or have to have or do to make a difference or your person does. Okay. Your ex does. So what about your ex? What do they need or need to have done when it comes to this union for this to make a difference? You need to keep an open mind. Let's see. Be playfulness. Give your relationship a chance. Maybe you didn't in the past. Maybe you ran away. Maybe they ran away. And for yourself, it's time to take back control. So I feel like they may have let other people lead the way for their destiny, like giving away their power is kind of what I'm getting. Listening to others when it comes to you. And I feel like they may have realized that they were giving away their power because ultimately it's you that has to walk that path, not them. So they can say all they want, but they may have their own agenda of why they don't want you to be with someone else. So maybe it affects them in a way. And maybe that's why they're saying those things to keep you two from being together and I feel like it might be family it may be something else here stay optimistic good positive thinking and faith will bring you romance and I feel like this is so true this is what's going to happen is being the, on the optimistic and being willing to get back together give it a chance all right what is the reason you and your ex 
wants you back. So why do you want your ex back and why does your ex want you back? Let's see. For you? Ah. You feel they may want to be trying to get back at you. What else? That they're not really available. That's kind of what I'm getting with all tied up. And that they might have an attachment. Wow, we have 755 five here. 25, 23, 5. All right. So 755, five, I would look up that angel number and put it with love. Find out the meaning with the love attached to that because that will give you a different meaning altogether uh, when it's asked about love. So let's see. For them, patience, which is seven. We have healer of all ages. I feel like they, they're, they're there to help you heal. You're there to help them heal. And that indecision, they want you to heal that indecision. And this may be because of all the deceit you've been through. Maybe you've never had anyone that was good to you. So you may not know what a good relationship looks like. So let's see, door to romance, hello, number eight. So seven, five, five, eight, seven, six, eight. And then we have three, three. So door to romance. So have a look at those and see what comes up for you. And let's see, let's move on to what does this romance have to have to convince you that things have changed between you two? All that glitters, you're, <laughs> you're really unsure about this. But this number seven again, which is reflecting, assessing, gaining knowledge, maybe spiritual advice. And your person, they need to clean up their act um, and be real. I feel like any fakeness or gaslighting or projecting or any of that crap has to go. They need to clean up their act. Number three, number seven. Three is growth. So there needs to be some growth here. Maybe they've grown up a bit. Maybe it's been a while since you've seen this person. Let's see. All the glitters. Yeah, Spirit's giving you a leg up with this. They're going to give you some advice when it comes to this. And what about clean it up? Regeneration. So they're going to regenerate. They're going <laughs> to regenerate. <laughs> they're going to uh, put an ending to whatever it was for no growth here and denial. They are coming back. They are going to put life into this. I feel like they're going to put it all, all in. All in is what I'm getting. They... You both need to have this all in. And yeah, you might ask about knowledge here. This is about stability. So I'm going to keep that one. What's underneath? Milk and honey. Hello. <laughs> this is going to be good for you two. Um, I feel like with number six here. So this is restoring that cooperation and harmony. And why is gaining that knowledge I'm getting like what that's all about that stability, that structure, stability, and maybe even manifestations. Maybe you both manifested each other or one of you did. Let's see. Hot milk and honey. I like it. All right. What does your romance need to happen for this union to be successful at this time around? <laughs> all right. Mm, a journey. So they may be at a distance from you. Maybe you journey to them. Maybe they have to journey to you. And number 10 is all about completing an end of a cycle and a renewal here for you. And concern. So there's maybe some concern about you being at a distance. Maybe they're concerned about you traveling. Maybe you're concerned about them traveling. Take it how it resonates. What else for this to be successful? 
Maybe you have children, maybe they do. 10, 18 may be significant, or 1, 0, 1, 8. Maybe 1, 9, 19. Maybe their children are like 19 years old and up. Maybe they're adult children. We got, it could be wish fulfillment too. Maybe you want to have children with this person. We have 33 and this is a wealthy man. Okay, so they definitely have stability here. And I feel like you may not know this about this person. They definitely have stability. And what's on the bottom of the deck? Courtship. They're willing to put in the work. This is what the courtship. They want to court you. They're going to respect your boundaries. All right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's do the tarot first, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> and then we'll do the after tarot. All right. Wow. Things are already flying out. We have the moon and the queen of cups. Okay. I'm kind of getting that you are emotionally connected. You may be that empath. You follow your heart. You're very compassionate. But you're very intuitive as well. And I feel like with the moon here, this is compassion. This is Pisces. There's something that's surfacing. This may be internal conflict, insecurities, or fear here. When it comes to this, let's get one more. King of Wands. Now, this person might be very yummy to look at or very got that playa playa swagga swagga. They may have a vision, there may be a sense of authority over you. This is about respected. You respect this person and you want to be respected just the same. I feel like they're a person of action and you are um, more of a sweetheart, emotional. You're more in touch with your emotional side. They're one to take action. So what's in the flow here? Whoa, hello, my goodness. Okay, so we have 10 of Pentacles in reverse. Yikes. <laughs> Okay, so I'm kind of getting with this. Maybe there's something that is a family feud when it comes to this union. There may be family members here. There's like healing family issues. Maybe their family doesn't really care for you. Maybe they were in favor of the person that they were in a commitment with prior to you. The mother of the children, I'm kind of getting if there was children involved, maybe a mom, I'm getting mom. All right, why is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse? Four of Wands. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that is about getting married. Somebody might be wanting to move in or leave the area. Maybe this is about having a happy home life. So this may be a family feud and um, having this come to an end and having that happy home life. Um, but love is in the air here. What's this soul tie? Five of Cups. Yeah, I feel like this family really wants you to say bye, bitch. <laughs> or them to say bye, bitch to you. And... Five of Cups, I mean, that is disappointments, emotional sadness and loss and mourning. You don't want to do that. Maybe this is what they told you to do in the past, convinced you. Knight of Cups, you're giving that offer <laughs> or proposal, heartfelt romance, charming, creative, Love the idea of love. So you definitely are feeling connected. And you're like, I'm back, bitches. After this is like, bye, bitch. And it's like, I'm back, bitch. <laughs> so it's like, this may have really broken you. Maybe 
somebody said maybe you have the different values, trying to convince them that you're not the right person for them. But this is a soulmate. This is a contract. This is something you chose to do in uh, the 5D with this person. Come into union. Okay. So tell me about the butterfly addiction and soulmates. Ten of Wands. Yeah. I feel like whatever burden was here is now come to an end. This is making room for this new... Reu renewed, revitalized, or regenerated, or whatever you want to call it, for this to come in. Nine of Cups. Yeah, you're both single. You're both good where you are. You both have things going on. You're very independent and able to do it all on your own. But you're looking for that Ten of Cups. Okay? I feel like you feel this is the one. This is the person. Maybe you weren't able to come together because of one of you not being available. Uh, maybe you were with somebody and they weren't. And when you weren't, they were. So <laughs> it was about divine timing I'm getting here. I still love you and can't stop thinking about you. Four of Cups. They feel like they may have lost that opportunity in the past. They may have when they ghosted you or when you two broke up or whatever the case was that they lost out on an opportunity to have something really great with you and they they spirit has a way of making it so they can't stop thinking about you so let's see we have six of wands this is a victory come on now right so this is recognizing that this is something that is meant to be like this is no doubts here this is good news so let's see why can't I move on from you because it's a contract it's a twin flame I'm getting here lovers hello there's so much love between the two of you we have the soulmates the lovers here lovers is my twin flame okay so let's see what else comes out king of pentacles lovers and king of pentacles this is a lot of wealth i'm feeling this is abundance and abundance can be in love it may not even be in the dala dala you know so it's about having security feeling that abundance from each other that love there's discipline and power ambition and they may want to provide for you financially if they are um there was wealthy man here i thought yeah what's staying optimistic about your love life here yeah having that patience having that um peace and healing that harmony and just all those beautiful uh feeling peace and grounded your life's purpose here i feel there, you might have something that you're meant to do with this person. What's the temperance? The high priestess. Yeah, this may have be involving divination. This may also be tarot card reader. You may be doing that. Maybe you have your own channel. We have three of pentacles. This is team player. This is collaborating. This is all about uh, teamwork shared goals learning things new ideas and cooperation this is something maybe you're meant to be doing together this may be what the family has a problem with is your divination your spirituality maybe they don't understand it so what's the story to romance king of swords so this is about confronting stability, um, that discipline, seriousness, that integrity, that intellect, that logic. Now, tell me one more with that, please. Knight of Wands. So this is about charging ahead and that passionate door to romance. That is <laughs> having that passion, that inspiration inspiration and that inspired action that impulsive or spontaneity i'm kind of feeling that courage and adventurous feeling here what's the milk and honey 
Ten of Cups, hello, hello. This is your Ten of Cups. So, dang, look at that. You went from the Nine to the Ten of Cups. There's this courtship. You're going to allow this to come back in. Let's see. It's the courtship. The Fool, look at that. You're going to take the leap of faith. Woo! He's on the top of the building. Yikes. Got your dog. <laughs> Maybe they have a dog. They have a dog. <laughs> one of you has animals. Maybe neither one of you do. It doesn't matter. It's just on the card. <laughs> I'm seeing. So let's see what your intuition's telling you. The chariot that this is coming in. And you're right. It is. And I feel like within this next month of September... October-ish. Let's see, the chariot. And what is your person, your ex's intuition telling them? Six of cups. <laughs> this is that um, sentimental feelings. This is the past. They're thinking about the past with you. Those joyful memories. <laughs> that beautiful home or comfy home or you know what I mean like that no place like home kind of feeling they feel like they're at home with you they can be themselves around you and I feel like that you accept them for who they are you don't judge them you're not a judgy type of person you you I feel like you accept them for who they are so tell me about this now that this is all going down let's see what happens after tarot with king of wands the i think this was the moon yeah the moon and the queen of cups what is this <laughs> ten of cups that soulmate i believe soulmate is here where is it i know it's here my beloved power. Oh, maybe it isn't. Oh, it's over here. That's why <laughs> I can't find it. But this is the Ten of Cups, man. This is your Ten of Cups. And I mean, it comes out here as well. Ten, ten. Look that number up too. We have ten here. We have ten to here, to here, and nine, which is wish fulfillment. So nine, ten here. Wow. And we got a lot of major arcanas no not so much chariot three here four five five major arcanas let's see what's the four of wands yeah but the ten of pentacles here it may have been kind of feeling like spirit ripped all this down because of something here Somebody wasn't in the flow with the Ten of Pentacles. Maybe it was about your status, about how much money you had. Hmm. Maybe this was unexpected. Yeah, this may have been an unexpected coming in. You've already gone to your, your safe um, passage here, the calmer waters, and you're willing to take that leap. So maybe I'll leave that there. Wow, nice. And what's this Knight of Cups here after you walked away? Yeah, you walked away. Ten of Pentacles. This is, but the Ten of Pentacles, this is building a legacy. I feel like when you left with from this person, maybe if they ghosted you or you ghosted them or you broke up or whatever, you caught them in the act of doing something that they weren't supposed to be doing or they knew you wouldn't like. You started your legacy or they did. What's this Nine of Cups here? Yeah, you used your intuition. Your, I feel like whatever your legacy has something to do with this divination, with the high priestess showing up twice. Yeah, you're sending boundaries and you're picking the right cup. I feel like you're putting self-love. I'm getting self-love here. What is the six of wands here? Yeah, they're being patient or you are. You're in the flow or they want you to be in the flow. Uh, healing I'm getting I feel like you both are healing here because it is that combined energy you both feel like you 
the Ten of Cups is with this person. Yeah, they're cutting away uh, this self-imposed prison. I feel like they're maybe coming out of karma. What is the lovers and the King of Pentacles? The moon. Okay, so i kind of getting with this that this may be something that's coming to light. Maybe they are speaking about some insecurities or this internal conflict they may have been having. Maybe things that are surfacing or triggers they've had or that are surfacing or any illusions. Maybe whatever they're feeling uh, is happening isn't really what's happening. Could be you, could be them. Let's see, what else with the moon here? Yeah, the king of swords. So this is maybe about some illusion about authority. Maybe they feel like they are more than because maybe they have more money than you. The king of pentacles here that they're in charge. And I feel like that is an illusion. This is something that needs to um, be changed. I'm getting that this is, they want to provide for you, but that I kind of getting that they're quite giving uh, and they're very truthful when it comes to something here. They're disciplined. Maybe when it comes to work and love, and whatever you felt may have been an illusion here. What is this? Or they, whatever they felt may have been an illusion. What is this high priestess? Yeah, this has been manifested. Look at this temperance, high priestess and the magician. Major Arcana, Major Arcana, Major Arcana. So you have three life-changing things that have happened. The lovers and the moon, the temperance. Wow. Um, and the high priestess. So you got quite a few Major Arcanas here. These are all life-changing events that are happening in your life. What's the king? Or, yeah, the king of swords and the knight of wands. And the King of Pentacles. Okay, so maybe there are more than one person here. Maybe that's the indecision here. King of Swords, Knight of Wands, King of Pentacles. This might be communication taking... Oh, I got it. Okay. <laughs> All right. It's not just talk. It's action. So maybe you may have said something like, talk is cheap. Um, you know, unless you follow through with it, I'm not going to believe it. So um, action speaks louder than words. That's kind of what I'm getting with that. What's this Ten of Cups? Uh, Ace of Pentacles. I feel like you're both going to take this opportunity to maybe start something together or they're going to help you with your business to grow it or something along those lines. This is going to make you very happy. The Ten of Cups here. I feel like you feel like you won the lottery or maybe you did. So Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, this is the Knight of Pentacles. This offer slow and steady. Now this may be about commitment. Um, this may be after a time of taking that leap of faith in this courtship. Maybe you have children, maybe they do, maybe you're older, and maybe you've been on your own journey. Now this is the five of wands. Okay. Complex struggle, too many choices, conflicting, and competition. Hmm. So there may have been other people involved here. What is going on? The sun. Something may have come to light about... Somebody that may be competing with you. Hmm. Devil. It could be Capricorn. Could be... You could be the Capricorn. I'm kind of getting um, desires here. I don't feel like it's toxic. I feel like it's temptation. 
What is this? What's the Five of Wands? Mm. There might be another offer from somebody, and there might be a competition when it, when you start to court somebody here. Somebody else might be coming in. So your ex comes back and wants to court you, but there might be another offer. Somebody that desires you. Maybe you didn't tell this person. You have to walk away from somebody here. So you're going to have to make a choice. Or they do. There could be two. It could be uh, on your side or it could be their side. Or it could be both of you. You might have an offer from someone else. All right. What's your intuition telling you about this? It says to go forward when you're recording them. So what is it saying now? Oh, there's going to be a celebration. Could be wedding. Could be third party. So let's have a look. What is your person's... <laughs> marriage <laughs> moving in together progressing so it looks like you choose your ex here or whoever you choose you're you could end up getting married but this is your ex here and this is you so there is a celebration here and it is about getting married and it could be to your ex so let's see when this might come in for you. Alpha and Omega, are you kidding me? This is you won't miss or do anything wrong in love. You will be in the flow, not trying to control. You're going to start a project now and you're going to keep going. So you'll be doing your legacy when this person comes in. And it might be on a Tuesday. Start being creative. Put down a marker. So I feel like if you aren't already starting something that has to do with divination here, um, maybe you're a psychic, maybe you're a medium, maybe you have gifts, maybe some of the clairs I'm getting here. Start being creative and looking into things. Um, start the ball rolling is kind of what I'm getting here. Because Mars is all about how you deal with life. So that awakening or accepting some type of change. There's going to be a change here. So definitely number three. Let's have a look at that. This is channeling cosmic powers create. So there you go. There's that um, confirmation as well with my phone. And number three, blaze down your own new trail. So wow, you are going to focus on you. This is when this is going to come in and may be unexpected. You may not be expecting this when this does come in for you. All right, you guys. This is what I have for you. So please like, share, and subscribe. Become part of the Divine Oracle Tribe if you haven't done so already. And if you want to donate, you can. There is a PayPal account down below in the description box. Just click that more button and it will drop down. You might need to scroll down a bit to see it. Now you can also do the super thanks if you're inclined to do so just watching the videos certainly helps with the channel and yes I appreciate each and every one of you all right stay blessed and we will see you next time later